Tis the season to look for a new job. Some career experts say don't stop your search now if you want a new position next year. December is a great time to network and set yourself up for success. Executive Coach Liz Bentley joins us now with valuable tips and might help you ring in the new year with a new position. She's the founder and president of Liz Bentley Associates. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, Mary. It's really great to be here. Thanks for having me on. And December is a good month to look for a job. Surprisingly, a lot of people slow down in December and think that people are not hiring, but that is not true. It's a great time to look for a job. What about networking? Is this a good time to do that? Or are people like maybe distracted by the holidays out of the office a lot? What is your uh, thought on that? Well, the thing is, is that it's a festive time of year. A lot of businesses have slowed down. So people are more willing to meet for coffee, uh, connect for a lunch or a breakfast if they are free and their calendar allows. Plus there are a lot of events happening. A lot of uh, networking clubs and organizations are having parties and things that you can go to. So there's a ton of opportunity to really get out and either bump into somebody naturally or connect with them for a breakfast or a lunch. And let's watch maybe a drink. be doing now right now what should people be doing right now to, to set themselves up for success in the new year well, first, I think what you have to do is recognize that companies have openings right now. At the end of the year, people start to make changes. Companies recognize, look, these are things that did not work in 2023, and we want to go into 2024 with the team that we're looking for. So they'll make changes in their organization. They'll make changes on teams and whether they're letting people go or just moving them into different positions. They also suddenly realize that they have maybe more money than they recognize, so they can budget for a position they didn't realize they would have. And they also have organic openings they were not expecting because sometimes people leave organizations creating openings. So number one is set yourself up for success. Recognize that there are opportunities out there. Number two, get your resume ready and in place because you know you really want to have something on hand um, ready to put out. And don't just use Chappy GPT in that resume. Make it sound organic and everything that's all about you. And then always practice. You know, we're a big fan of role playing. We do a lot of role playing with our clients and we really believe you want to practice a lot of your language before you bump into people. What you're going to say, what you're going to talk about, how you're going to present yourself and everything around that all right so what if you're looking for a promotion is December the right time to approach the boss or should you wait until the new year for that you know well I think you always have to um, wade into things carefully and think a little bit about what the temperature of your organization is are you know if this is a very busy time of year for your company then obviously this might not that would not be the case but if it's not and things have slowed down again I think going into the new year organizations have more money or less money they know what they're gonna budget for so if you want a promotion it can be a really good time again also because things have slowed down depending on your company Great advice, Liz Bentley. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Mary. Every Tuesday, Liz shares career tips on her social media platforms. For more information, you can go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.